So I'm going to walk you through the backup process that we use for our video production. Now, this is inspired by the saying, two is one and one is none. Now, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to secure your client projects at every stage, and this will give you the peace of mind. Now, remember, this process is not just limited to video production, and you can take inspiration for your own business needs. So let's start with the life cycle of a client shoot. Now, when I shoot a client project, the camera that I use, which is the Panasonic GH5, this has dual slot recording. Now, this means I can create an instant backup on the fly, satisfying the two is one principle. However, many devices like mobile phones or drones, they don't quite yet have this capability. So my first suggestion would be to back up the data immediately after the shoot. Now you can do this using a laptop. You can use a mobile phone connected to an external SSD drive or even a specialized device that allows for SD to SSD backup without the need for a laptop or mobile phone. Now this step ensures that you have a secondary copy ready in case the original device fails. Another way that I would address this is to either have multiple cameras recording. Now the beauty of this is that it also helps mitigate the issue of device technical failure. So should a device go down through no fault of the SD card but other acts of God, then you have another device recording. And this is where we're now thinking about the client's process always needs to come first. We are constantly like enticed to get the best camera with the absolute best image quality. But if it's too expensive for the process, then it's not the best fit. And you need to remember that you need to buy the camera you can afford twice. Now, having one backup isn't enough. If something goes wrong with that single backup, then you are going to be left vulnerable. So essentially, we need to back up the backup. Now, once the client shoot is done and we are safely home, I will use two types of external drives. The first is a working external drive and the second is a backup external drive. So I will first copy the SD cards to the working external drive. Now this drive is used for editing the client's work, but since it is subject to change, it can't be considered a true backup. So what I would do then is that I would next independently copy the SD cards to the backup external drive. Now doing it this way ensures that any issues during the initial copying process don't get duplicated. And by copying directly from the SD cards to both drives, we actually mitigate the risk of errors. So it's important to understand that at this stage, we have the buffer on the following backups. We have the original SD card that was in the camera. We also have the in-camera backup of the client shoot. We have the external working drive backup of the client shoot. And then we also have the external backup of the client shoot. But only two of those are actually true backups because the first SD card we might need to use again and the working drive is subject to change. So we can't really consider those true backups. So if we actually take the two true backups from that list, then we have actually fulfilled the two is one. Because if we have a technical failure with either one of those backups, we still have one left. Now, all of these backups, they are stored on site and this makes them vulnerable to physical damage from anything from fire to even you know theft. So to counter this, we use an online backup service. Now, this service is continuously uploading the data from our backup drives, and this ensures that we have an external copy. 
If you're going to do this yourself, please keep in mind that this can take some time depending on your internet upload speed and the actual volume of data that you're trying to you know, transfer. But the beauty of this is that if we need to retrieve the data, then we can either download it or we can request an external hard drive from the provider. And this allows for swift restoration for us. Now, the next step in our offline backup strategy involves purchasing another external hard drive with sufficient capacity to store all the existing backups. Now, this drive, it's going to be stored off site in a secure, accessible location. Now, this is something that we are yet to implement, but we believe that it's an important consideration for a comprehensive data backup scheme. So we're just going to recap now on everything that we've backed up. So we have the original SD card of the client shoot, and then we have the in-camera SD backup of the client shoot. Now we have the office-based external working drive backup of the client shoot, and an office-based external backup of the client shoot as well. We also have an external online backup of the client shoot, and also an external offline location backup of the client shoot. This method for me keeps the backup process straightforward. I find it scalable and it's reasonably affordable. Now, regardless of the industry that you are in, adopting a similar approach can really safeguard your data and it ensures the safety of the information that you hold. Now, implementing a robust backup strategy is not just a necessity for a media production business, but for any business that values its data. By following the principles that we have outlined in this video, you can, you can help ensure that your valuable information and client projects are protected against many unforeseen events. Now, remember that in the world of data backup, uh, redundancy is key so it's great to adopt the two is one and one is none philosophy to help secure your business against data loss and that is it for today um hope you found this information uh valuable uh, and it helps keep your project safe and secure if you like this video please leave a like and i will see you in the next one cheers